Hey, pleasant day, everybody. This is Sports Time News. I'm Jeb Warwick. First and foremost, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to subscribe down below. Our bum is to use widget to keep us growing to the goal of 215 by the end of March, or preferably mid March. But thank you all for the support this far. As we get into this, this is the latest edition of the Royalty. As we recap the brilliant weekend by our Reading Royals, as they continue their winning ways against the Wheeling Nailers and the Wooster Railers. Um, against the Wheeling Nailers, our Royals were able to have a fantastic third period. Uh, Kirk McDonald said in the postgame, it's like they kind of turned their brains off or fell asleep is another way to say it in the second period. But then they awakened, they arise, and they really came to be in the third period and were absolutely um, <clears throat> a far different and a far better team in the third period. It's like a tale of two cities um, from that second to third period. In that game, now he has been moved back up. According to Kurt McDonald, he said he was going to be moved back up. Ryan McKinnon had a fantastic game, and I misspoke in the last video. I apologize. Obviously, Mason Millman hit his five games a while ago. I meant to say Ryan McKinnon. Uh, we, we wanted to see hit the game, so he was playoff eligible. Now he is for the Reading Royals, so that's fantastic to see. But he had two assists in this game on the first goal by Cressy and on the goal by Braden Lowe as well, where he was able to make a nice play to get it to Lowe, but Clays reacted and thought there should have been a call there, and there wasn't, so he was able to score, and then the nice goal that Jackson Cressy was able to score, that also Kenny Hausinger, who's doing fantastic, of late. he's been great all season, but points producing wise has been ridiculous of late, um, and that's fantastic to see, I called it as the one game I did, color commentating that's kind of the step of player I see to be, and he has been that of late, and that's great to see. Um, he got the assist on that as well. And then Trevor Gooch, who's been ridiculous, got an assist on Halsinger's goal. So he was able to score, and he was able to get an apple. McKinnon was able to get two apples and have a nice slap shot goal assisted by Frank Dechar. So that was really nice to see um, McKinnon really be able to get on the score sheet at the ECHL level, even though he's played well in his few games he's been in. Because he hasn't played a lot of hockey this year, so he hasn't been in a consistent groove like some of these guys are more in because he's only played a handful at the AHL and a handful at the ECHL, so it's kind of tough when you're in that spot. But he played amazingly well against the Wheeling Nailers. Against the Wooster Railers, oh, also Usti played very well in his return, of course. Against the Wooster Railers, Logan Flodell played really well in net again. Um, on those goals, there was really nothing he could do about them. They were just really nice shots uh, that they were able to have, whether it was um, from for Wooster Christensen, who of course scored twice, or if it was from <clears throat> the other goal, which is Balmas, it was they were just nice plays, nice shots, nothing the goalie could really do in those instances. But overall play, Cressy was able to score in both games on the weekend. That's fantastic to see. He was able to get his ninth and 10th goal. And then Gagnon, who's been very good, obviously, shooting the puck, was able to pick up an assist as well on one of Cressy's goals. Morrison continues to um, explode and keep producing points at a ridiculous pace. Tomas Ebbing was able to get an assist. And guess who? Kenny Halsinger has an assist on the Cormier goal. That was a great setup in front, the primary assist. And guess who? Ryan McKinnon had a primary assist on Patrick Vykov's goal. So obviously the McKinnons of the world who then earned a call, he's definitely a star of the weekend. Halsinger continues to be a star. Morrison, Gooch, but the guys that really stood out um, that have been kind of the underrated stars of the team all season have been the Jackson Cressys who had a fantastic uh, weekend this weekend. The Ryan McKinnons of the world had a fantastic weekend this um, weekend for the Reading Royals. And then also, of course, even someone like Jared Branch of the world. Look what he was able to do, step up and fight Cam Hosinger in that game and had a good weekend overall. He's a plus one on Saturday, played pretty solid overall on the weekend and has been a kind of under the radar, not talked about guy because of just how good the defense is, like Kirk McDonald said it himself. So this team has so much of those under the radar stars. It's nice to just shout them out. Uh, um, Gagnon with the shot is it somebody that's been that as well. Coop, somebody that's been that, just getting the hits on, blocking shots, being a guy that's always going to not be afraid to take the body or be able to take a 100-mile-per-hour shot to the leg because he's always a warrior out there. Um, So they have all these great underrated under, underrated stars on the team, plus the big stars of the Bicobs, of the Fixers of the world, of the McNally's of the world. Flodell is a great goaltender. Uh, Usti, Falky, 
Um, so, I mean, this team is obviously full of great <clears throat> guys at the top, but they're also full of guys, I think, lower in the roster that haven't even hit what they're truly fully are yet. To like where Pritchard now at his age, what was he, I think he's twenty seven now. Season really started to hit that. Like these guys aren't even there yet. They're rookies. They're Tressies of the world, and the McKinnons of the world only have played a handful of games. So if he's able to be down there in the playoffs, he's a hell of a guy to have. The branch of the world. I think these guys still have a lot of room to grow to become how good the dominant Cormiers are. Because this is Cormier's career season, and it's great to see. He's having it here in a great system that Kirk McDonald runs. But this has been the latest edition of the Royal Take. Tomorrow I will do our weekly preview edition of the Royal Take. This has been the weekend recap. As, of course, our Reading Royals continue their winning rate, winning ways, excuse me, and continue the great successes. The next game is Wednesday against the Anna Ron Deck Thunder. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please continue to subscribe down below. Stay safe out there. And enjoy the hockey this week, whatever levels you watch. Otherwise, from the Reading Royals, stay safe out there. Enjoy the hockey, and please subscribe down below. Peace out, everybody.